Scorpio. Scorpio, how you doing? That good, huh? A little darkness of light. A little darkness of light. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Anything? Anything? Have a little fun. I'm sure you're dressing up as something. Come on. I know you very well, Scorpio. You like to have that little escape every so often. Any chance that you get to escape? You want to do something. So, what are you doing? If not, why don't you do something? Just make it a little fun. Have that one time a year that we dress up, do a little role playing. Right? All right, Scorpio. Let's see. What do we have? Okay. I shouldn't have to say this, but just know that every reading is not for you. Everything that I say, put it all into a bucket, put it all into a hat, put it all into a hat, okay? Everything I say, put it into a hat. Whenever I say something that you're like, oh, that's me, that sounds like me, take it out of the hat, keep that. Everything else that I say that doesn't make any sense to you, that's not yours, leave it in the hat because it belongs to somebody else. That's it. Let's get this show on the road, Scorpio. Romantic love. Three of Cups. Romantic love. Three of Cups. Hermit. Three of Wands. Three of Three. I had three, three, nine in the other one too. Now, it's the four cups, too many. Are you wanting to meet with or come in contact with a Virgo or somebody who is um, solitary? Are you wanting to reach out to somebody? Could there be a hermit or a Virgo that wants to reach out to you? Okay. Could there be something about both of you? Maybe you both want to kind of come back together. Maybe talk. Uh, get to know each other again. Okay. Hmm. Page of coins in reverse. King of coins. I'm not that person anymore. I'm not that person anymore. Lovers. Somebody could have had a breakup or a split up with another person. Maybe somebody kind of wants to get reacquainted. Two of Wands. Somebody wants to do something again, start something again. Right. Ten of Coins. Justice in reverse. Somebody definitely could have gone through a breakup or a... Um, I want to. I, I want to say failed marriage. <sighs> I don't know. Wrong decision. Bad decision. Tower. Okay. So. Hmm. So could there be somebody? Okay. So this could go a couple different ways. I'm seeing a couple different things here. Either, for some, somebody may have disconnected with another person because of, you know, maybe they moved away from their friend or they moved away from somebody because they were married or, you know, sometimes people just lose contact. They lose touch. Okay. Through the course of life, sometimes we just kind of like, we go about our own thing and we forget about certain people. You know, it just happens that way. Okay. Um, and during that course of time, Maybe whoever that person is that you lost contact with, maybe they're, something has dissolved in their life. On the other hand, this could be somebody may be wanting, wanting to reconnect with somebody and this, it may not be such a good idea. Okay. 
Nine of Wands in reverse. Somebody could be very, very fearful about something that maybe had happened to them before, you know, in dealing with whoever this person is. You know? Talk about this tower. About this tower. I just jumped out and then went in, went in the reverse, but I'm tempted to look at it. It's none of my business. It's none of our business. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We don't care about that. It doesn't concern us. Nope. Eight of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm telling you about this Nine of Wands and this Justice in Reverse. Two of Blades. That's exactly what it is. Okay. So, what is the relationship between the two people that, you know, not the... Because somebody's, somebody's marriage or something like that, or somebody's relationship has definitely split up. Okay. So, let me find out the relationship between you and whoever this other person is. Okay. What's the, what's the relationship between... Let's say the Scorpio and whoever this person is. What's the what's the connection? How do they know each other? Chariot in reverse. Hmm. Three of coins. Something came in between the both of you. Something came in between the both of you. You guys were friends at one point, and then you weren't friends. Could it have had something to do with this connection or this whatever it is? It's possible. Something happened between you and another person. Scorpio. I mean, we do have the hermit here. We have the hermit. And we have the lovers. And we have the tower. And we also have justice. And so we... And then... The chariot. So we have Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Mars. So Scorpio or um, Aries, Libra, Cancer. Okay. And then we got the Hierophant there. So Taurus. So this could be revolving around those energies, those time frames or dates, or there could be certain energies that people were exemplifying or in those energies. Two of coins. All right, Scorpio. I gotta tell you, It might be best to leave well enough alone. I'm saying yes. It's best to leave well enough alone. Don't reconnect. It's up to you. You know your life better than I do. This reading may not even be for you. Okay? So just think of it that way. You make your decisions yourself. Whoever I'm reading for and, you know, this is resonating with somebody, yes. It's probably very, it's very advisable to not necessarily reconnect with whoever this person is. Okay. Chances are somebody left your life for a reason. Okay. There could have been too much drama or something like that in between. Um, and it's like people generally don't change. So if you reconnect with whoever this is, even if you guys did care about each other, you guys were good friends or whatever it was, um, people don't change. So it's going to be the same business as usual. Same thing. You both know each other. You know, you both were a certain way. Even though you may have changed, when you both come back to each other, you're going to get into the same energy that you were in before. Because that's how you know each other. Okay? So it's almost like something could definitely repeat. All right? That's all I got. Who is it that 
that wants to read. I, I feel like there's some, something's left unsaid. Knight of Coins. Strength. Something happened between you and another person. I don't know that it's romantic. It feels like it could have been a little bit romantic. There's definitely like a hint of it. But I don't know that you were necessarily romantic with this person. And they were committed someplace else. So I don't know what this means. You never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Whatever that means to you. All right. Yeah, something doesn't feel good. So, I don't know. what What is the deal? Something about somebody has... It's like... It's like a love, but almost like a hate. I'm feeling that. What is this? What What is this? I don't want. And the devil. Okay. Here you go. So, however this is, let's say two people who were just whatever. However the dynamic was. Okay? I don't feel like there was anything between you two. However, they may have been some sort of an underlying theme or underlying attraction, okay? And somebody may feel resentful because let's say it put some kind of doubt into somebody's mind and they could have kind of bled into their relationship and now their relationship's dissolved and they may kind of like have this, this attraction or this love for you, but there's still this hate also because maybe when you came into their life is when everything kind of got destroyed. Does that make sense? Okay, because I'm feeling like this love, hate. All right. The thing is, is, and that has nothing to do with you. That has something to do with that person. So if that's the case, then this person has to realize or understand why it is that you came into, the, you came into their life at a certain time. Okay. Why it is that they may have developed an attraction for you, okay? It may not have anything to do with you at all. Maybe it does. All right? Something definitely feels uneasy. It feels a little bit uncomfortable. And that's where you're at. Something just doesn't feel comfortable. Something just doesn't feel good. Something does, just let it just leave. I, my, my, my suggestion is just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Whatever is, whatever the door has closed on, please let, maybe it's best to kind of like nail it shut. It's not that there's, maybe this person isn't bad. Maybe there's nothing wrong with this person. I, or, or, but something, at least right now, something could still be fresh or something is still, you know, somebody hasn't reconciled something within themselves. Whatever that is, uh, uh, understanding why this person found an attraction to somebody else when they were already committed to somebody else, whether it has something to do with you, whether it's your fault or not, um, it's up to, a lot of times it's up to the person that is in a committed relationship, you know, my opinion, for them to be able to know how much to not intertwine with another person, to get to know another person, okay, to mislead themselves or to get too close to another person. If you're committed to somebody, you shouldn't be getting close to other people. Not like that. All right. So, my opinion. My opinion. Anyway, that's it. All right. I'm leaving it there, Scorpio. Something feels something feels uneasy with this. It just, I don't like how it feels. I don't like how it feels. So, anyway. All right. That's it. Why don't you hit the like button, please, if you liked the video. Drop me a comment. Let me know what's going on, if this makes sense. If you think this is your reading and you want to continue with the story, why don't you email me, becomestory1111 at gmail.com. 
to book a private reading. Okay? You can also contact me through Instagram, Become the Star. It's all one word, all lowercase. I only have one account. Be careful with scammers. All right? That's it. I'm not going to reach out to you. You have to reach out to me. That's it. Good luck, Scorpio. And I will see you next time.